crash, a First Coast family says, could have been prevented. Yeah, it happened on I-10 just outside Jacksonville earlier this year. They were in a truck when all of a sudden the driver lost control and hit a guardrail. Three of the four people inside were hurt, and they say it didn't have to happen. First Coast News' Ryan Duffy is here, and he talked with the family, and they say the truck had been repaired, what, just weeks before this accident. That's right, and this Jacksonville family is fortunate to all be alive after their crash on I-10, but now they want to find out who's responsible for what went wrong with their truck. Uh, right next. They were only 25 miles from being home in Jacksonville. Deborah Rosendale and her husband Craig in the back. Daughter Courtney was driving with her fiance in the passenger seat. And then as they drove along I-10, something went violently wrong with the truck. She started screaming and she really had no control of the steering. Um, she was headed towards um, the traffic going I-10 West. The truck's steering was out and it careened through a guardrail and down an embankment. Deborah was ejected. Her husband Craig was pinned under the truck. Courtney Rosendale avoided serious injury, but her fiance George Smith's arm was crushed. I remember it. I relive it um, <laughs> almost every single night, um, but it, 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 it's, it's very vivid in my mind. The leap of faith is trusting that people do their job correctly. And in this case, um, somebody dropped the ball. When George Smith took the truck in for repairs in Illinois three months earlier, attorney Charles Sorensen says a key part in the steering assembly was left out. A few weeks after the wreck, Courtney Rosendale and George Smith's wedding went on, bandages and all. But as the family moves on, they want justice for a repair that could just as easily have killed them. Every individual who has looked at this vehicle, um, EMS, the doctors, um, are absolutely amazed that any of us survived. They thought they would come up against, you know, um, four people being dead. And that wasn't the case. I did talk to a manager at Offenburg Ford in Illinois where the car was repaired. He said they are still collecting information on this case. Some Jeannie. people may be wondering if there's going to be a lawsuit possibly or... Well, they haven't decided for sure yet, but they've sent this repair shop a letter just saying they're thinking about suing. All right. Thanks very much, Ryan. Appreciate the update.